Good morning. I like to add yogurt to my breakfast fruit and cereal. Pretty soon, empty yogurt containers start to accumulate. Perhaps they could be recycled as float valves. Let's give it a try. The lid can be attached to a wooden block. This will provide a weight to counteract upward buoyancy force and also provide a stable base for the nozzle which delivers the water. A 5 16 inch drill bit is selected. A hole is drilled through the lid and attached block. A plastic tubing connector will serve as a nozzle to deliver the water. The flow of water will stop when a 1 quarter inch neoprene foam is pushed up against the nozzle. A butane lighter is used to heat and soften the tubing. The nozzle is inserted into the tubing. The tubing passes through the lid and the block and the nozzle fits tightly in the lid and block. One inch thick extruded polystyrene serves as the float mechanism. I'm going to use two blocks for each float valve. A one and a half inch square of neoprene foam is cut with a scissors. The neoprene foam has a sticky side and it is attached to the upper polystyrene block. In previous designs, the foam was attached to a hard plastic backing which was then attached to the foam block. In the original float valve models, we had used 1 8 inch thick polyethylene foam to seal the nozzle. But with time, the seal weakened and there were some failures. I am hoping the neoprene foam will be a more durable material. A 7 32nd inch drill is selected and a hole is drilled about a half inch from the bottom of the yogurt container. This provides an outlet for the water. Depending upon the intended application of the float valve, a one quarter inch tubing may be inserted into the float valve body, and the outside end may be inserted into a larger diameter polyethylene tubing, or into an emitter like this button dripper. Let's put this float valve together. The polystyrene blocks are placed in the yogurt cup. The lid is snapped on. And we're ready to go. When the water rises in the yogurt cup, the neoprene foam will be pushed against the nozzle and that will stop the water flow. In the simplest application, water flows by gravity into the float valve. Water is released through a hole near the bottom of the yogurt cup and a constant water level is maintained in the growing tank. In this case, the water level is two and a half inches deep. The recommended height of the water supply tank is five feet or less above the float valve. Float valves may also be made from upside down yogurt containers. The cost of the materials for the float valve is only about a dollar, so that means you could afford to use one for each individual growing container. Well, I know this float valve can be improved, and there's better float valve designs out there, but I thought this would be a really neat way to recycle a yogurt container. It's time to sit down and eat breakfast now. Mmm, mmm, this is good. Bye.